so this video is pertaining to short selling and securities borrowing and lending securities borrowing and lending okay so short selling what is this short selling all about um, it refers to taking advantage of fall in price okay taking advantage of fall in price so that means you will get profit when the price comes down so how is it possible see in your normal course of business what happens is we buy at the lower cost and sell at the higher cost and sell at the higher cost that's how we make profit say for example i am buying a product at 100 and i am selling it for 120 so i make 20 percentage profit over here from 100 it reaches to 120 so this is how we all do business but in short selling i will make money when the price comes from 100 to lower than 100 so how is it possible so that's what we are going to see now so first of all before you know you understand short selling see short selling in a way you know we can use this analogy in 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 our life as well uh, so before i get into the example of share market short short selling let's see where we use short selling in our life say for example imagine you go to flipkart and you are ordering a book and you have paid so you are ordering a book and you have paid cash as in payment done and payment is done payment is done now what did flipkart do over here they have sold the book to you first sold the book to you first okay now they can you know now what will they do they will order the book from the publisher manufacturer and then i uh, and then they will send it to you okay so they are selling first and then they are buying next selling first and then they are buying next and then buying next so this is one simple pseudo example you know like kind of you can think like this loose example of uh, you know short selling another one say for example uh, you are taking a subscription newspaper subscription you know newspaper subscription so when you take newspaper subscription you think from the seller's perspective newspaper vendor so newspaper vendor is selling first to you is selling first and then he will get the newspaper and deliver it to you and then he will get the newspaper and deliver it to you and deliver it to you so what is happening over here from the newspaper vendor perspective he is selling first and then he is getting the newspaper and delivering it to you he is buying next that means okay or imagine i am a marketing guy so your marketing guy speaks to his client that you know you give me um, if you, you know you give me like uh, uh, 50000 i will get one iphone uh, tomorrow so he tells all the features of the iphone and then he takes uh, 50000 rupees which you can call as advance booking advance booking and then what happens he goes to the market and then he will buy it for 40000 and then he will he will uh, deliver it to the client so what is this marketing guy doing over here he is selling first he is selling first and then he goes to the market and buying so he is buying second okay so you have to put this in your head that you know not necessary that in all the transactions buy has to happen first sell can happen first and buy can happen next so this is very much happening in our life okay now let's come to 
the share market example if this is fine then your mind will be able to accept what is happening in the world of share markets okay so now coming to share market example so imagine one fine day you know you are switching on the tv and assume that you know some bad news is coming about your company let's say you know reliance now assume the price of reliance is something like uh, uh, you know like something like assume it is 2000 rupees the price of one share of reliance now this is happening at 10 am so 10 am you are switching on the tv and you get to hear something negative assume like this now you don't you don't hold reliance mind you so you don't have any reliance shares with you but still you are thinking how to capitalize uh, this news okay so what you are doing is you are selling reliance so you are selling reliance imagine you have sold you just have to key in this information in the in the uh, you know uh, uh, application broking firm application and then um, you know you are uh, you are selling this okay now mind you when you are selling this x and y imagine x is selling this so x is entering into your commitment that he will deliver reliance to y x is entering into your commitment so x is the imagine x is the seller here okay y is the buyer and you are x you are over here so you are entering into a commitment to deliver reliance however mind you you don't have any reliance shares with you but still you are punching in these details and then that's it you are going back to your sleep then what happens imagine at you know 2 p.m you are getting up and you are checking your system so at 2 p.m the price of reliance has come to 1500 at 2 p.m the price of reliance has come to 1500 so mind you you already have your commitment you are supposed to deliver reliance shares to y so what you will do is you will buy it from somebody else let's say mr p so you will buy shares now you will become the buyer so you will buy from mr p and that share will be rooted to mr q that share will be rooted to mr q okay so that means in this in this entire deal today you know you sold first for 2000 and then you you bought it again for 1500 or in other words i can say you have purchased reliance at 1500 and you have sold it for uh, 2000 so in this deal you have made 500 rupees profit the only difference is this sell transaction happened first and this buy transaction happened second this is the only difference okay but otherwise you are getting uh, 500 profit over here and in order to do these transactions your prediction should be that the price should go down okay the price should go down so this is how you can make profit in the falling market uh, when the for, uh, when the market is falling you can uh, do short selling and you can make money out of it so this is case one first part of the story okay uh, i hope this is clear now first part of the story when market goes as per your prediction that is you expected the uh, market or the underlying asset to come down and accordingly it has come down and you made profit out of this by selling first and then buying next now case two suppose you might you know get your doubt over here that you know what if the market doesn't fall so case two we'll see or what if this reliance doesn't fall so if reliance doesn't fall then what will happen so in that case so at 10 am you saw reliance some negative news okay at that time the price was 2000 and you have sold so when you sold there is x y you are playing the role of a seller you have sold so there is a commitment now you expected the price to come down but the price did not come down instead you know at 2 pm you know, imagine you slept after that and then at 2 pm you got up and instead of price coming down it has gone up you know maybe because what you heard in the morning was your fake news or anything of that sort so for whatever reasons the price has gone up to 2500 so now what will happen 
so in this case what you will do is now see there is a commitment first of all so you have committed to deliver reliance shares so you are supposed to buy this share at 2500 and you will incur a loss of 500 so loss of 500 reason being the market did not go as per your prediction or reliance did not go as per your prediction you expected reliance to come down instead reliance has gone up and you already entered into your commitment to give reliance so in order to fulfill your commitment you are going to buy at the higher cost 2500 and so you are going to incur 500 losses so this is one way to tackle okay now case 3 another one so case 1 market went as per your prediction you made profit uh, case 2 market did not go as per your prediction and you made loss so in this case whatever we have discussed so far be it profit or loss you are supposed to buy on the same day okay so you are buying on the same day that's why i, I told you, you know 2 pm on the same day 10 am you are entering into the transaction and 2 pm you know you are squaring off okay yeah so 10 am you are entering into the transaction and 2 pm again you are buying and finishing this transaction okay now case 3 suppose you know case 3 is uh, you know 10 am so case 3 10 am uh, reliance is trading at 2000 and x y x is entering as a seller uh, again he saw some negative news about reliance so he predicted reliance will go down and he entered as a seller and he agreed to sell one share to uh, he agreed to sell uh, some shares to y now imagine uh, you know at 2 pm the market did not go down instead the market went up or reliance went up and it has gone to 2500 now ideally x should buy and incur a loss of 500 but then he has another plan now he says even though the market or reliance has gone up now i would still like to wait for few days weeks or maybe a month or so uh, why reason being let's say he is expecting reliance to give you know quarterly results next month and he expects reliance to come up you know very poorly uh, in the result and so at that time the price will further come down to 1500 that is his expectation so he says like okay fine even though now the price has gone up but his prediction will will be correct in the next one month or so so he would like to you know extend this game of short selling now so how will you do and how will you tackle this so right now here he has short sold correct he has entered into a sell and there is a commitment to why so what will you do now and at the same time he doesn't want to buy now because if he buys then he will incur losses so what he expects is he will wait for one month so that the price comes down and then he will buy at the lower price and then he will make a profit of 500 this is his plan now but then he has to wait for one month but then why is not going to wait mr why is not going to wait for one month right so how will he tackle this uh, case he will enter into an agreement with the custodian now custodian is an entity which is safeguarding investors financial assets right in india we call this as depository participants also maximum brokers they take this license as well they act as the custodian as well so you can take the example of any big broker they act as the custodian or any you know investment banks uh, you know us uk it is more popular as um, custodian investment banks play the role of custodians whereas in india it is called depository participants so this custodian which is holding investors financial assets now it has many clients now it has many clients so client 1 you know client 2 client 3 4 5 out of that some clients will have reliance on long term basis so what are they doing with reliance nothing so they have they purchase reliance but however they are not going to do anything with reliance because they are long term investors so now what will they do they they would have entered into an agreement with uh, with the custodian that if anybody wants to borrow reliance 
like the way we borrow cash when we are in need urgently we borrow cash and later on we repay similar way even shares can be borrowed and lent so th such will be the agreement so this client imagine client one and custodian there is an agreement that if somebody wants to borrow reliance then this custodian uh, can can uh, facilitate this deal so when this seller contacts the custodian asking for reliance shares so seller wants to borrow seller how is he tackling this case now he will borrow borrow from the custodian okay borrow from the client one through the custodian okay so custodian is facilitating for which they will get some fees and that will be uh, given to client uh, one as well right so there is no free lunch here so everybody will get the benefit in this case right client will get the benefit he will get some charges for uh, lending reliance uh, to the seller that is mr x and custodian also will get some fees over here so once seller or mr x gets uh, uh, or borrows reliance shares it will it will then be transferred to mr y and that's how mr y's uh, you know commitment i mean uh, that's how uh, the commitment made to mr y will be fulfilled okay so i repeat this again seller will borrow from client one through the custodian and that will be uh, given to the uh, given to mr y so this is called securities borrowing and lending process also called securities lending and borrowing whichever way you want to say securities borrowing lending or securities lending borrowing process okay and then uh, seller will obviously you know pay uh, fees for for holding this uh, or borrowing these securities for a month right till or till the time he wants to hold he will uh, keep paying fees accordingly and then imagine after one month after one month the price as expected by uh, mr x the price comes down so when it comes down he will make a huge profit over here and uh, that profit you know uh, uh, and then he will make a huge profit over here so which uh, if he is calculating correctly which will be exceeding all other charges that he has paid in this entire deal so this is how he will plan for his uh, profits through securities borrowing and lending or through short selling thank you so much uh, for your time thanks for listening thank you